Hello there, this is Daniele from Two Chefs and welcome to this new video. So today we're going to have a look at how we can export all the necessary files for defining an agent type with the Atoms UI from Houdini. In Houdini we have two ways for defining agent types. So the first one is what we're going to see in this video. So again, exporting files and then uh, defining a new agent type within the Atoms UI. The other way is to use the Houdini agent definition converter feature. Uh, we have a video for this, you can double check it on our YouTube channel if you want. Uh, so now let's jump actually on the, on the, on the content of this video. So uh, first let's have a look at our scene. Here we have uh, some geometries, uh, some skin geometries that are all living under the same hierarchy. Also I have a skeleton here, which again is also living under the same hierarchy, so which is basically the hips here. Um, and then uh, a couple of things about the geometry. So the first one is that each geometry, as you can see here, we have a material. If you go and check the material, it's a, a principal shader with uh, a diffuse texture. Uh, if you have the materials of uh, your skin meshes set up in this way, Atoms will be able to export the texture for those skin meshes within the skin, uh, the skin geometry. And then you'll be able also to see these textures later during the simulation. Uh, if Atoms can't find the textures on, the, on your shaders, basically it won't be able to export uh, uh, any textures uh, within the skin geometry. So it's pretty important that you set up your uh, um, your um, um, materials in, in, in the correct way. Uh, okay, so the other thing is like all these geometries, uh, um, they are affected, uh, all the vectors, all the vertices of these geometries are affected by uh, three joints uh, at, at maximum. This is because uh, when we export the skin geometry, of course, we're going to export all the, the weights for the vertices for the, for the skinning. And then when we are uh, re um, reading those skin geometries in atoms, when we display the, the, um, the, the simulation for the agents, uh, we have a limitation there basically that where we can't use more than three influences per, per vertex. So uh, again, if you have more than three, you might see uh, a weird, weird deformations in, in the viewport later when you simulate. The same limitation will apply also in the viewport for the variation meshes, but if you render, so a render time, uh, you, you might have any number of uh, influences per vertex. Okay, so that really doesn't, it doesn't really matter at, at render time. Uh, okay, so that's uh, um, that's it for the setup. Uh, now we can go in the Atoms UI here. Sorry, in the under in, under the Atoms menu, and go under uh, Export and then click on Rig Animation Exporter. And uh, basically here uh, uh, I can select my root. I'm gonna say Pick from Selection. And as you can see here, nothing uh, like all these lists are empty. We need to populate this list to tell Atoms what is a pelvis and what are the legs. So for the pelvis, the, my hips here are also my, is also my pelvis. So I'm going to press plus here and gonna, I'm going to add the pelvis. Then in here I have the, uh, the left up leg and the right up leg here, which are these two joints here, which are basically my foot root joints. So they're basically that basically they are the, the beginning of the leg. As soon as I added those, you see here we have this red, uh, um, uh, this red button showing, saying basically that the, the, this basically the, the, this foot joints, the foot root, they don't have any foot AK. So basically, of course, you cannot have a, a leg without having the end effect. Or so, in this case, I'm going to uh, select the right foot and the left foot. I press plus and as you can see here at the uh, as soon as i added these two items here the the sanity check button uh, uh, go, went back to green and then here i'm gonna add the right to base and the left to base which are basically the tip of my feet which are basically the the joints that are touching the ground okay then for the skip IK joints, basically these ones are joints that might be, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the legs. Maybe they're roll joints or, or any any other joint that is in the leg that need, doesn't need to be evaluated by the IK. If you have, uh, you know, joints that are uh, um, in the legs and they need to be skipped by the IK algorithm and you don't uh, put them here, you might uh, end up having like weird uh, deformations later during the simulation. Extra joints are uh, joints that are not part of the main hierarchy, but you will still want to export them uh within the skeleton the definition okay now i'm going to uh, pick the skinning uh, so i'm gonna pick the parent of the my hierarchy that one uh, i'm gonna use this path for exporting so i'm gonna export it in this location then i'm gonna click export 
So if I go in the file explorer, I can see we have a skeleton file and the skin geometry, okay? So now if I go here and I create a new scene, I'm gonna open that on CUI. And I'm gonna go under the agent type. I'm gonna create a new agent type. I'm gonna call it my man. Uh, and then here I'm gonna provide the skeleton file. So that's the one and then the skin. And I'm gonna click register. Here I don't have the geo, the geo, any geo uh, geometry. Geopath is basically the the proxy geo, but this feature is kind of deprecated. We just leave it here for legacy. The ragdoll path is basically gonna be a ragdoll file if you have any. Character path is gonna be a characterization file. State machine again. We don't have all this stuff because we just care about registering the agent type. So here, here is my agent type. I can also draw the skin mesh here just to see that the textures were exported correctly as well as the geometry. Can register it. Uh, and then it, just to test it quickly, I can create an, an agent group. Uh, I'm gonna go here, agent group, and create a grid layout. Uh, this one is gonna be my man. And then I'm gonna display the skinning. And here is my, um, here is my agent using the agent type that uh, I've just registered. And this is all for this video. Thanks for watching.